this right here, this is the last time you're gonna see this car moving, moving pink. And now, you're watching the Valentine's Day Backdoor Tongue Punch channel of YouTube. Welcome to Bodie Vision. <laughs> So what is up and welcome, thank you guys so much for joining me on yet another video. So right now with the Honda Accord, as I'm kind of trying to work out some of the bugs, I got a little time and I want to fill that time with something that I've been meaning to do and something that I've been needing to do for a long time now. We're going to go through, do a full color change on Project Pepto. It might not be Project Pepto or it might not be called Project Pepto anymore because it is not going to be pink. So the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to get right into it and get this motor pulled out of here. Now that the motor is out, we can actually get to the main premise of this video that is guide to painting an engine bay for beginners. Now an engine bay is kind of a funny thing because you can take it really far or you can take it not so far. So with this one, I'm kind of going like a middle ground. I took a good amount of stuff out. I would always recommend taking out your coilovers, taking out all the suspension stuff just to get rid of these bolts because the tops of the shock towers, that's going to be the main focus area of the engine bay. That's where your eyes are drawn to. So this, you want to get everything out. Over here, you want to get everything out as well. Now, a lot of times, or when I've done cars in the past, I went ahead and I pulled the subframe, pulled all the brake lines, pulled out the booster, the master cylinder, but then as you're assembling the car back together, you gotta go ahead and run all the brake lines again, making sure to not get any brake fluid on that fresh paint. Then you gotta bleed the brakes, do all of that. So what I wanted to do, like I said, just for you to show you that it can be done without having to remove all that stuff, I just went ahead and I masked it off. Took my time, masked it off really well, masked off the subframe with some plastic, masked off the entire car. And one thing that I'm gonna do here yet before I actually get started is I'm gonna put plastic all over the floor because as you're painting an engine bay with all the air going down here, there's gonna be dust getting kicked up and we wanna limit the amount of dust as much as we possibly can, especially if you're not painting in a booth. All right, so as you just saw, we went ahead and we got that sealer down. Now I did the sealer in the wheel well areas and then I did a rubberized undercoating and then any overspray that I got in the bay, I went ahead and wiped that down. Then I did sealer for the entire bay and that's where we're at now. Now with the sealer, it's just an additional foundation for your base coat to land on. And I'm not gonna kill myself with the sealer, making sure that I'm getting every single crack and crevice because I don't wanna cause too much dust or cause too much buildup of sealer. So some of the edges, I don't worry about them too much. I'm not gonna 
to kill myself like I said. Now with the first round of base coat, that's where I focus on making sure I'm getting every single crack and crevice, making sure I'm getting rid of all of that sealer, any pink that I missed, I want to go ahead and get color everywhere on the first coat. And then the second coat, I'm just focusing on coverage. I just want to have it look really nice, the surface nice, smooth, and consistent because we got all the little cracks because we got all the little cracks and crevices on the first coat, the second coat is the second coat is to just kind of smooth everything over. And then also with the clear, first coat of clear, I'm in the same mindset. I'm just trying to get everywhere. Now the second coat of clear, that's when I just want to glass it in and make it look really good. So now let's get into that base coat. I can't wait to show you the color that I picked and I just picked it because I liked it and that's that's what you should do with your projects. Let's go. This is phenomenal. I'm super happy with how this came out. Now, as I was painting and filming, I filmed some stuff on my phone. Also, I looked back at the footage on my camera. Now, I put some stuff on my phone because I post some videos on IG. If you're not following me over there, the name is the exact same, so it's going to be easy to find me. But anyways, why I'm talking about footage and stuff is because on the camera, the color looks a lot more blue, but in person, it looks a lot more green. Or blue it has a really nice hue to it it's kind of a color changing color or it's a flexing color but it is a OEM color see I'll put it on the screen right here it's a 2019 Jeep color called bikini blue well I think they ran a couple different years but see how this one looks a lot more green that one looks a lot more blue but it's the same exact color code that's just to give you an idea how this color varies depending on what type of light is hitting it now as far as painting the engine bay if you guys have any questions please don't hesitate to let me know I know I didn't go over every single step but I just want to hit those key points and hopefully you picked up some tips and tricks along the way to help you out and also coming up in the next video we're gonna focus on the motor getting the motor looking really good putting the motor back in the car and also I'll explain to you why I'm doing what I'm doing in the order that I am doing it because you can do things like you can paint the entire car at once if you have the space for it so I will get into that and I think that's going to be it for this one you guys super excited to be uploading thank you so much for watching like this video comment subscribe do all the stuff you know it is YouTube I want that bug to get in the paint I'm out